What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a guide on the MC businesses as tomorrow they go on double money and 30% discounts for upgrades and the actual businesses themselves. So first off, to buy one of these businesses, you're going to have to go to the Maze Bank foreclosures website. You're going to want to buy a clubhouse. Um, I recommend getting one in Sandy Shores. If you have the premium edition, this should be free to you. Which I'm pretty sure everybody got it because Rockstar messed up a while ago or something. But if it's free, definitely get this one. There's no need to get a more expensive one unless you really want it. it it's close to your MC businesses once you buy them. Um, yeah. The other ones, they don't exceed $500,000. But there's no need for you to get one in the city or even in Palito Bay because they're just they're just not worth it. You don't want to go that far for them. Um, I think it being closer is better and more convenient for the player. In case they want to head to the business, like look at these in Palito Bay. Those are useless, completely useless. I think it's better to have a nice and close and close proximity to your MC businesses. So yeah, that's the first thing here with the clubhouses. The upgrades are pretty useless apart from the um, freaking where you customize the cars at. Um, yeah, you can make a little bit extra money with that. But yeah, the other things are just purely cosmetic. They don't help you make more money. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here, which is going to be buying the actual businesses themselves Again, don't waste your money on this. It's completely cosmetic um, Yeah, let's go ahead and see these prices for these freaking um, businesses here Then you're gonna want to come over here to the computer in your clubhouse. This is the location of it You're gonna want to make sure you're registered as an MC clubhouse president. Oh shit I just realized that my Xbox is still on and I'm still president. And I don't want to get raided. Let me turn that off. All right um, You're gonna want to sit down at the computer gonna want to log in and there are five different businesses you have the coca-cola the blue stuff the cash the grass farm and the document forgery i can't say the actual name because i don't know the video could probably be taken down i don't know uh, but yeah i recommend getting them all on sandy shores as that is the desert location and most people aren't even in the desert they're usually in the city um if you get businesses in the city you're probably gonna get grieved for people in the city i mean they're all dicks dude to be honest and um if you get one in palito bay they are way too freaking far to finish selling by yourself which most of us are probably doing um even me like i have no friends to play with on xbox so i'm gonna be doing it solo you're probably gonna be doing it solo so make it easy on yourself get them in the desert or even sell them in invite only lobbies man you know what i mean but yeah these prices are outrageous for the ones in palito bay so don't buy those I'm going to go ahead and buy the document forgery office in Grapeseed just to show you guys how to set up a business. Um, yeah, so let me go ahead and pick this thing up here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the setup mission for it. Show you guys how that works. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave the prices for these businesses at normal price here in the video in a sec. And in the comments, I will put the price at 30% off. See you guys after. I found this picture on Reddit showing the prices of all the businesses. So if you need them, go ahead and pause the video. But yeah, there they are. I went ahead and made this chart here for you guys. So again, pause if you need to. But these are the prices for the staff and equipment upgrades for the MC businesses. Pause if you need to. All right, so now we just got to go to the forgery office. I'm going to go ahead and set it up show you guys how it works. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the setup process here. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up so it's nice and quick. And yeah. Just walk over to the computer. And uh, yeah, you're just going to log in and set up the mission. So it was just a bag for this mission. Just got the bag just now. Um, I don't think we're going to get any enemies, we're just going to go ahead and just drive back, and yeah, that's the setup mission. They are pretty simple, usually it's just going to be a car, a bag, or something of that matter. Alright, we're here at the document forgery office, and uh, yeah, just going to drive to the back here. Boom, setup complete. We're just going to let this uh, little cutscene roll through. I went ahead and sped it up so you guys didn't have to sit through the whole damn thing. It's still going to take a little bit because, um, you know, Rockstar fucking hates me. But yeah, let's just get through this, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about the um, how long it takes for a full bar of supplies to waste, and how much money you can make per hour. Alright, right, we are done. Let's go ahead and move into that right now. Alright, so this is how long it takes for these uh, full bar of supplies to dwindle, to completely end for all of the businesses, and that's how much money you make per hour with all the businesses. 
So you're just going to have to go back and restock after those times end until it gets completely full, which I will be showing the amounts. This is the amount of money you can make with them when they are full. As you can see, the Coca-Cola factory is going to be the best one, while the document forgery office is going to be the worst one. So definitely do the Coca-Cola one all you can this week. Two times money, man. Take advantage of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and follow me on X at Santos7576 and on TikTok at SantosOnYT. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Have a good day.